there are two approaches to CAM software, operations-based programming and feature-based programming. One of them is yet another tedious, time-consuming chore to add to your day. The other is just a handful of clicks and the software takes care of the rest. Let's figure out which is which by taking a closer look at each approach, starting with operations-based programming. For operation-based CAM programming, as a programmer, I first think of what operation to do, what I want to run, and how I want to program the part. Let's say I want to create a rough mill. I need to select the tool to do that, then pick my feeds and speeds, my percent step over, my depth of cut, my climb versus conventional cutting, etc., etc. Now I have to repeat this process over and over for additional operations I want to create so I can complete the part. This is a tedious workflow that takes a lot of time and is prone to errors. Let's compare that with programming parts using a feature-based CAM solution like SOLIDWORKS CAM and CAMWORKS. Instead of worrying about what operations need to run, I simply pick a feature like a pocket, hole, or slot. My customizable rules base does nearly all the work for me. Based on the rules I set up as a programmer, simply selecting the feature drives all the necessary CAM machining information for that particular feature without any worry. All the information for depth of cut, percent step over, climb versus conventional, and cutting is already set for me based on that rules base. And I can set these rules for a specific program or as a company standard for all program parts for the appropriate level of reusability. Feature-based CAM, I have complete flexibility to have settings for specific features based on the type of feature, such as a regular pocket versus a rectangular pocket or a circular pocket, or even the size of the feature itself. I can even link it to the type of material if my rules need to be different for different materials. As a programmer, I can program my parts in a full range of settings depending on how I want my machining to be done. The beauty of feature-based programming with SolidWorks CAM and CAMWorks is the automation that comes with this approach. If a part design or dimensional tolerances tied to the model change, my CAM programming is automatically updated to reflect those new changes thanks to the rules I've set up in advance. With operations-based programming, when changes come, unfortunately, it likely means it's time to start over. If you'd like to learn more about how you can stay integrated inside of SolidWorks while programming your parts with SolidWorks CAM and CAMWorks, please watch the in-depth webinar, Lightning Fast NC Programming, the easy upgrade to feature-based CAM with SolidWorks.